three, <laughs> two, one. This is Fever Originals 2.0. Let's go. Welcome back to another exciting episode. Here, Fever Originals 2.0, India's first original music countdown show, a show for the artists by the artists. Now I've got a mitra of music out here with me, joining me on today's show for this uh, countdown show. Jahan, but we're chatting about her music. We're going to talk to her about her journey, about her stage name, about her real name, about. Uh, reactions to her new song and what she thinks about the OG music scene in India. Rimi Neek with us in the studio. Rimi, how are you doing, man? Hi, I'm good. It's wow. so good to have you in the studio. What an energetic introduction, seriously. I need some of your sass. I I I, 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 I would have got you some coffee, but you're not a coffee person. No, I'm not. Huh. I'm so, good. So, Matcha is good. I, oh. But uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Ma'am, 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 matcha wala admi na ham matcha denge yahan pe. Very bad word. Matcha denge, yes, yes. Very bad word play over here. Just because I'm a radio jockey, sometimes we have to do this word play and all. It's a part of our KRA. Not necessarily, but we go about What's with it. What's KRA? Key responsibility area. My responsibility over here on this show uh, was to start a revolution about three, four years ago when we said that why don't we play OG music? Uh, why don't we create a show where yes, we have artists coming and celebrating their music, their lives, their journeys. First up, how have you been, man? I have been good. Like finally starting on this journey of taking out my original music yeah. after years of working behind other people's projects. Yeah. You know, when you're an artist, what is it? You sing, you write, you compose, you're part of the creative process, but you have to believe in yourself to even do that. Absolutely. But before that, then you hide behind other people's projects. You write for them, you sing for them, you feature, but you don't end up taking out your own music because it takes a lot of courage and you have to, you know, start. So I'm just happy that I've started on this journey finally right. and owning up to myself and my artistry and finally expressing myself, like as a true artist. Hmm. So I'm excited. So you have a lot of courage, like you said, that when you're putting out your music, you're putting out everything that you believe in out there. And as artists, we live for validation, for love, for oh, love. Yes. That accept my music, I hope you like it, I hope I can make a difference to your life. Yeah, because it's vulnerable. Yeah. When you're, when you're taking out an, a song or anything that you have, you're involved. You're not just coming into the studio to sing. A no, playback song, you know. Yeah, no one else, this is your. Yeah, Kuch Bollywood, whatever, when I sang for ABCD2 or Race 3, I just went and I sang. It wasn't right, that hard. Right, I'm not right. emotionally attached so yeah, much, you know. Yeah, yeah. So here it's like, ah, okay, yeah, you're singing it, but you're also composing it, but you're also writing it, and you're part of the creative right. process, you're part of the costume. You, can you do all this? Yeah. You, maybe you'll screw up somewhere, and yeah. how about no one listens to it, you, and that's it, and you don't then you're done like you know it's you're very very vulnerable there's something very but interesting that you spoke about self doubt and being vulnerable because as an artist ab apne aaj jo kaam hai logon ke samne pesh karte ho you're you're vulnerable you're 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 afraid and mitra how you been i'm good how are you mitra i'm very good mitra uh, why are we talking about mitra <laughs> batayenge iske bare mein karenge baat kuch hi der ke baad but first up we spoke about vulnerabilities we spoke about self doubt as an artist bahut baar aise hota hai yeah aap apne aap ko kya kehte ho uh, when you are when you have these thoughts flogging your mind I mean, we all will have negative thoughts in life in general. Duality, mm. right? There's mm. light and darkness. But yeah. it's if you want to sit in that, that's your choice. Mm. So when I have those self doubts, I just have to switch and be like, "You've done the hard work. You mm. do deserve this." Mm. and know that your thoughts can manifest into things so stay positive and believe in yourself and don't be so hard the idea of perfection has left the building for me yeah i think it's left the building for me too i say so if if the first one is not the best i maybe didn't do well on this part so what to kya next one i'll be better yeah. and it'll keep being better at least i'm true i'm authentic if you can watch my journey you'll see i keep improving mm. and that's the beauty of it and it, it you humanize yourself and you humanize yourself for everyone else and it's the pressure is off you know i i completely agree with what you're saying it's important just do it because then you don't have to be perfect no you don't have to be you don't have to go and you know achieve uh the ultimate goal in your first attempt you're going to fail just remember that the idea is to keep trying yeah. to keep doing it again and again we're going to talk about this bit uh, as an artist and kya panthre aap use kar sakte hain if you are an upcoming budding artist how are you feeling i'm feeling very good are you are you great actually i i are, are you uh, okay like what, what's going on in your head like if i have to ask you two thoughts that are going on in your head i mean honestly i'm pretty blank right now which huh. is nice i guess cuz i meditated this morning i feel very zen Yeah. You felt very zen and my name is Glenn. I didn't have to do that. I didn't want to do that but I I just couldn't contain myself. 
I had to. Please forgive me, Mitra. It's okay. I'm Zen with Glenn. It's uh, cool too. What a ring to it. It's a, it's Zen with Glenn. I think it's time to make a song. Zen with Glenn. It's such an antithesis of my personality, but actually not. I have that side to me too. But no, no comments. Uh, no, we we, we discuss this <laughs> later on. Let's get to the point. Let's talk about Mitra, man. Mm-hmm. Tell us about the track. What do you want to know? Because I've been involved in every aspect, so I can talk to you about anything. Oh, uh, you're like Farhan, man. You can do everything. <laughs> <laughs> You've just done everything. You didn't act, it, dance, say, sang, anything. Like, Honestly. Like, how did you do that? Just tell us. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing, Mitra. Okay, I'll give you like a. Um, so, I was in LA in the studio working with this producer, okay. Indian Trap, and I suddenly composed the melody to mm-hmm. Mitra, and I knew I had to use the word Mitra in it and. Gaddi. For some reason, mm. you know, Punjabi. You know, no mm. matter where I am, even right. if I'm Punjaban from Thailand, it's still in my system. Wow, that's a great combination. We're going to talk about this too, okay? <laughs> but first, up, tell us. Right, go on. Yeah, Thai Punjabi. That's another thing. That's like, a different. So, yeah, Dika yeah. and all that. Okay, yeah. we'll do that later. But um, <clears throat> you know, and then um, the pandemic happened, and I wanted to before the pandemic. Actually, I was in Mumbai only. I was like, I want to write to this song, okay. but you have to stay in your lane. Fine, Punjabi lyricist is not something that I can fully do, but I can. So I co-wrote. Hmm. I co-wrote with a Punjabi lyricist, Sardara, and made the song. And while I was in Thailand during the pandemic, I felt the urge to record the song. So okay. the song has had an international journey per se. Interesting. And then I was like, I want to shoot the song. Okay. And I just because I felt so passionate about it, I want to shoot the song, and I shot the song in Thailand with a expert team of people, and you know, shot it on a horse ranch. I was like, you know, I don't want a gaddi. Every other Punjabin song, Punjabi song, has kuch Lamborghini, Ferrari, and it's always a dude being like, hey, come into my car, you know, come into my Ferrari, like Sony Kuri come. I was like, nah, now it's my turn. It's like you know, hey Mitra, like dude, you're cool, come into my car. Get it? Oh, car or your kalakar? <laughs> wow, wow! This is amazing. You've gone from awesome, awesome in no time. Huh? Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me more about the track. Yeah. So then, um, like at least the theme of the song and the lyrics, it's like Mitra tu aave, gadi cha bhej aave. So hmm. it's like Mitra, like, Mitra. When I, when I, when I, even when I sing it, the emotions is in the voice. Like Mitra tu aave, gadi cha bhej aave, and then. She says it in a very feminine and vulnerable way. We say, "Tenu dil di yar me samjhava." So she's like, she's saying it. Let me express my heart's desires for you. It's like, "Hey, buddy, get into my car." Now you're sitting. Now let me tell you how I truly feel, but in a very beautiful and vulnerable way. Instead of showing a car or showing a watch or whatever, nothing materialistic. I'm just gonna open my heart to you. So that's. It represents who I am, also in in you know in aspects, and I just wanted to emote it through a song. It's just a friend expressing a love for another friend, or it can be for a lover. Anything you can op- to your interpretation. Oh, that's 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 an interesting story behind the track. That's why I keep telling people, yeah, Fever Originals. Pina, we sort of decode the song a little bit because there's a certain track you perceive it to be a certain way, but actually, what's behind the story? What is the artist thinking? That's so important. And then it gets even more interesting to know that oh, okay, this is her story. This could also be my story. Tell me about your stage name and tell me about how all this happened. Um, okay, so, all right, I'm born in Thailand. Yeah. So being Thai Punjabi at the time that I was born, you needed a Thai name. Mm-hmm. So I have a Thai name that is nothing to do with my Indian name, mm. and it's Nida Dua. That's my Thai name. Okay. Yeah, and but uh, growing up. My nana ji, you know Punjabi, yeah. uh, like ek peg, do peg, patiala, all that. His his favorite alcohol is Remy, like Remy Martin. Remy Martin. Han ji. No way. Yes. <laughs> so I am named after Remy Martin, but but Remy. So but in Thailand, the Thai Indians are third generation now, but yeah. my time. Since they're more Thai than they're Indian. Okay. I have a bunch of Thai Indian friends who don't know anything about Bollywood, don't even speak Hindi. Huh. They. We speak Thai. Like my dad is as a Sardarji, huh. and I call and talk to him and be like, "Hey, pop, what's up?" And then in Thai, like, "Hey, pop, sasi kaji," and then something in Thai. Say it, say it. Come on, go on, go on. Um, I'd be like, "Hey, pop, sasi kaji." Or tham lai u, or ting a ka, or okay do tham ni la lai banan lai. Like I just do. This is amazing. Yeah. So you know, like here, you guys guys have that slang like right. bantai, like whatever, yeah. like Mumbai wala jo right. chill vibes. Huh. So I talk like that, but. 
Thai wala. Thai bhasha mein. Yeah, it's just comfort. You so. you spoke about a granddad um, and Remy Martin and Remy. Yeah, so Nana ji, you know, is from uh, mom, mom is from Ludhiana. Huh. So you know, Remy and but in people in Thailand couldn't say Remy because you can't say th- R very clearly. Right. Like Thai people, we hear they go like Lemme, like huh. Lemme, because huh. it, the R becomes an L. L. So. But and then change it, you know. They change it to Remy, so huh. it Remy, like so. Nice. What do you think? What do you think I'm named after? Huh? A favorite brand. Glenn Levin. <laughs> my grandfather and my dad too liked something. That's why they named me Glenn. <laughs> we have a story that is very connected. We are we are connected via spirits. <laughs> so Zen. I'm telling you. I wanted to ask you, Remy. What do you think about OG music? Uh, and your piece of advice. For artists who are upcoming, who want to create a mark for themselves in the music industry, I mean, I think this is the best time to be in original music now. Uh-huh. Now, just get over that fear and thinking that you need someone to hand hold you. Right. Just do it. Don't worry about the perfection. Express yourself. It will be a very healing journey for you. You're gonna enjoy it. I think the point is get out of your head. and just do the best that you can and don't try to be perfect it's it's actually quite simple that's it and just press upload and post don't stress too much and you you learn and grow as it keeps going and i think that is as simple as i feel like i can give like the advice at least it's a very nice thing get out of your head and just press that upload button if you have a track let the world know raise i mean we we stress so much about what people will think and i i fall prey to that too yeah, yeah. all the time it is so stressful at times but sometimes i've realized when i've not really cared and i've just gone ahead and done it and yeah and like worked. like i said i have as an artist i have so i have had so many original songs in my bank so right. this is this is a very friendly single mitra and then more singles are are going to come in 2024 right. and And now I'm unafraid of it. But the point is, I had so much in my bank to share, and I, it's just hidden there. It's like rusting, you know. It's now it's time to take it out. So don't be afraid. Just take out your songs. Don't think too much. Life's not supposed to be that complicated. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it is stressful, but hey, there'll always be a way. Thank you so much for joining me on the show. Thank Mitra. you for having me, Mitra. <laughs> it was amazing. Please go share her music. Go follow her on Instagram, on YouTube. Uh, Spotify, go listen to her music, share her music. We're going to get new music from her in 2024. Mega no dara, bye bye, ciao ciao. See you next weekend, same time, same place. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your health, and most importantly, don't ever, don't you ever, ever, ever forget to stay original. My name is R J Glen. Ciao.